Exercise one, leg press. You can see with the leg press that the hip, knee and ankle joints are all moving. The concentric phase is when the weight is being pushed up. For the jam analysis, the joints that are moving are the hip, knee and ankle. The action for the hip is hip extension. The action for the knee is knee extension and the action for the ankle is ankle plantar flexion. The muscle performing hip extension is gluteus maximus. The muscle performing knee extension is the quadriceps group and the muscle performing ankle plantar flexion is gastrocnemius and soleus. Exercise two, lunge. Today, we'll be looking at the front leg in a lunge exercise. In a lunge, the hip, knee and ankle joints are all moving. The concentric phase is when the body is moving upwards. For the jam analysis, the joints that are moving are the hip, knee and ankle. The action for the hip is hip extension. The action for the knee is knee extension and the action for the ankle is ankle plantar flexion. The muscle performing hip extension is the gluteus maximus. The muscle performing knee extension is the quadriceps group and the muscle performing ankle plantar flexion is the gastrocnemius and soleus. Exercise three, modified deadlift. In performing a deadlift, the hip, knee and ankle joints are all moving. The concentric phase is when the bar is being moved up. For the jam analysis, the joints that are moving are the hip, knee and ankle. The action for the hip is hip extension. The action for the knee is knee extension and the action for the ankle is ankle plantar flexion. The muscle performing hip extension is gluteus maximus. The muscle performing knee extension is the quadriceps muscle group and the muscle performing ankle plantar flexion is gastrocnemius and soleus. The difference between a deadlift and a squat is that there is more focus on the hip action than the knee action in the deadlift.